about 24 hours until we actually play. So um, I thought it's a pretty nice day. We might actually go up to Oval, just do some light kicking, um, a little bit of a light run as well, and you know, get the blood flow going around. So let's head up there and uh, do some kicking. Uh, got about 16 hours until we have our first hit out for the year. One thing I do really like to do is actually try and get an upper body session in uh, before I do play. So it just takes the mind off things. So as you can see here, we just made it to the lab and uh, let's pump some weights and get ready for tomorrow. That is our upper body session done for the night. Now we get to head home for a good feed. Spag ball, we love to carb load up. Caps off tonight, round one tomorrow morning. We're pretty keen, um, a little bit nervous, but that's to be expected. But for now, we'll lock up, head home, get a feed. It's game day and we finally uh, at round one. So for those that don't know, this is my first year as the coach and player. So I'm the senior coach. So officially this is round one, or well, my first game as a senior coach. Obviously we had the practice matches, which were good to get in, but um, you know, today's a different cup of tea. We got, got blokes that actually want to go out there and win. So um, I'm excited, nervous, but yeah, I think, I think mostly excited, but some exciting times, round one, Churchill, they're always a good team. Um, we're always fighting for, for finals at the end of the year. So um, to have them round one, you know, it's a big day regardless uh, when it comes to the end of the season. So um, hopefully we can get the win. A few big games for the uh, for our boys, one of our blokes, leading goal kicker of the club, actually. Um, he's playing his 300th club game. And then uh, we've got a few debutants as well, which I'm very excited to present their jumpers. Hopefully we can get a kick today and a dub. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down on the ground. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first vlog of the 2024 season. And uh, we're underway here against Churchill. And I do get, end up getting the first handball of the game there. But they do get a free kick immediately. But yes, this is my first gig as the senior coach. Well, official gig, that is, um, as well as playing. So it did take me a little bit to get into the actual game. So I was just trying to lay a bit of pressure and some tackles here. And just focus on my uh, body positioning and eventually the ball does sit up to me here and we get a nice little handball out to the runner. And we just had to make sure defensively that we had to work hard. So as you can see here, uh, sprinting back on efforts and then forcing the turnover where we get the uh, switch kick out wide and use the left peg there. Um, I get a nice little inside 45 kick here and I actually get the ball chopped off and uh, I'm very, very thankful that he missed um, because that would have switched momentum big time. And as you can see, I'm not very happy with it. So a little bit of a background on Churchill. They are a quality team and they're always in the finals race, if not playing finals each year. So it was important that uh, we did play a consistent four quarters, um, which you will see throughout this vlog. But um, they, they're a team that love to attack and they will punish you if you don't defend properly. So it was just important that we found body early. Um, I just had to get a clearance kick there. And like those one percenters, just trying to lay smothers, um, use the footy well, which to be honest, in the early stages of the first quarter, we, we just turned it over too much and uh, Churchill had a lot of shots on goal and thankfully they uh, didn't kick them all. So um, we just had to work our way back through our defense and um, get back in the contest and 
Uh, it was all about the pressure around the footy. Um, here we got a few goals in a row, and I was just reminding the boys to not let them get another cheap one um, and, and swing momentum. And lucky enough, the ball spilled out my way, and I kicked it off the ground just to gain some territory and just kept running forward, and the boys were clean with it. A nice little handball over the top, and I was able to compose myself, and I was pretty happy with this one. Um, I think that was our third or fourth goal in a row, and I uh, made sure to celebrate it. But it's always important, as hard as you run forward, you have to get back and help out your defense. And um, if you are a junior coming up through the ranks, and that is probably the main focus, you know. Um, if you're gonna, if you want to kick goals and celebrate goals, and you got to be willing to to push back and defend, and um, we're able to get a few nice handballs out of the middle here, and just follow up and and apply some pressure. I thought this was going to be holding the ball, but uh, I guess the umpire has other ideas but nonetheless it's just that pressure around the footy and then things will eventually uh fall your way a nice tackle here on the 200th gamer he was a little bit sore after this i made sure he's all good though um and then this like i said just working back owning the spot defensively and taking a nice contested mark uh then we can rebound from that um churchill they went on a bit of a run here they kicked a few goals and momentum was getting back into their favor I think there would have been at least 9 to 10 different lead changes throughout the game, so it was pretty close the whole day. We're able to get our head over the footy and do a nice little spin move here. But at the main break, the scores were 9-5-59 to 8-8-56, so we're only just up by three points. They did manage to kick a few late goals in that second quarter to, to bring things back. We just addressed some issues at half time, and uh, we knew the first five to ten minutes of this third term were going to set the tone for the rest of the game, so we had to equally bring the pressure and uh, intent on the footy. I copped a nice whack here on the handball attempt um, and then a risky inside 45 kick and uh, nice hands by the Guap man. Now this is where things started to fall apart for myself. So I lay a nice tackle here and then bang. My left calf decides to cramp up and I'm trying to get it released. I can't stand up. Piercy's helping me up there and I'm in a world of pain and uh, it, the ball gets thrown up. And I'm just praying that there's going to be another ball up because I can't move. As you can see, you can't tell from this angle, but my foot is uh, is flexed. So my calf is fully tensed. I can just see the calf muscles spasming out. And I can't release it for the world of me. And I'm just very thankful that the footy didn't go out their way because I would have been screwed. So I'm just like, I need to knock this forward. Knock it as far as I can. And then it eventually releases and we get a goal and uh, Snowy loves it. He loves it. He's up and about. It is still a very tight contest. And then Kearnsey, he decides to kick goal of the bloody year. Um, the guy is an absolute star and he celebrates it. I'm pretty sure from memory that put them up. And I was thinking, geez, they're, they're going to um, feed off that. But nonetheless, we were able to win the footy and get it forward with a few nice kicks. And we had to just keep plugging away at it. Uh, we get a nice inside 45 handball. We tr try to get it back and then uh, misses me. But we get a nice tackle to reset the stoppage. I didn't get this next bit on film, but Sheed's absolutely got laid out, put his body in the line, and, and as a result, we get a stoppage. I get a nice clean pickup from the boundary and dribble it into the goalpost. It would have been a beautiful goal. We definitely needed it. And that was it for the third term. As you can see, seven points separates us. I did tend to play that sweeping mid-roll for the majority of the game, which I don't mind. It's um, it's good to, to read the play and play defensive role. So I'm happy to do that. Um, there we've owned the body position. I do promise you I did find a target on that handball. Uh, someone did just run in front of the camera, but it is what it is. Anyway, we were able to get a nice tackle here. I thought it could have been holding the ball, but nonetheless, it was another stoppage. And um, the pressure is on. As you can see, there was plenty of tackles, plenty of ball ups, and uh, both teams really wanted this. I had a shot on goal here, and I attempted the smother, and he did lucky enough spray it. And uh, it's only one-point game at this stage, and then Q board... It goes under the feet. We come in. We're about 40 out. Left foot snap. Flushed it. And boy, do we celebrate that. That was a massive goal. And um, it actually probably gave me a bit of goosebumps as well. But um, nonetheless, definitely needed that one. And we were back up by seven points with just under about 10 minutes to go. And then we had a few more shots on goal. And we missed a few opportunities. So then Churchill, they decided to go up the other end and finish with a goal and brings it back to within three points. Then there's a stoppage. I get a clearance kick out, and it lands on the tit of the 300th gamer, Snowy. And boy, oh boy, we were lucky with that. I'm not going to lie, but um, in this moment of time, I was thinking, please just put this through. Please put it through. We're only up by three points. And in his 300th game, he kicks his sixth sausage roll, and he celebrates it. And uh, there wasn't long left with this. I think there would have been around three and a half minutes where TP, so our runner, 
uh, he comes out, yep, three and a half minutes there. What a man. He does a job for us. And um, the aim of the game now was just to keep it in and waste as much time as we could. So we just had to keep stoppages. Um, that probably was holding the ball. But nonetheless, we will take it. And as you can see, there's bodies just flying everywhere. And at this stage, we're 10 points up. And Hunts, he kicks it long down the line. And I go to get up, and it gets spoiled across the line. That would have been a nice pack mark. But um, it allows us to reset and waste a few more seconds off the clock. And at this stage, we're just going to attack the footy as hard as we can. We want this win. And we're going to try and force as many stoppages as we can. So we just jump on the footy and force the stoppage. And it does come out. But they call the ball up. And as you can see, we are absolutely spent. My calves, I could barely move at this stage. But we were just trying to fight it out as best as we could, own that defensive position, and uh, just force as many stoppages as we can. The ball does zing around a bit, and then, as you can see, bodies just flying on top of each other. So um, a few stoppages. We, uh, we did lock it down inside our forward 50, and then bang, there it is, the siren. And we get the dub against Churchill. A massive win to start off our 2024 season and uh, I was absolutely stoked to get my first win as coach and just so proud of the boys on their efforts uh, during the game because I know how much effort we did put throughout the preseason and to see it come together against such a quality opposition um, was such a great feeling but that was it a great day for the Iron Football Club round two we have the bye and then round three we will have our next vlog up so I'll see you guys then.